What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel. For today's video, your girl is here to bring you my next video of my Must Have Must Gag series. This is my series that I created inspired by Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. I always have her series and a community playlist linked down below, as well as all of the Instagram pages that I use to create all of, or not create, to learn all of this makeup news. I also have what's on my face, jewelry, nail polish, Anything that I can think of and help you guys out if you're interested, I will have all linked down below. This is a really old top, so I can't help you with that, but I'm pretty sure I got this from H&M, so yeah. Um, everything else, though, I will have down below. My eye look I did record. It is going to be an IG um, TV video, and I'm aiming to get it up soon. Who knows when soon is. So I think that's all the information I need to talk to you guys about. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so we have quite a bit to talk about today. A lot of brands have been pushing out multiple um, holiday collections or just multiple releases back to back. Everybody is catching up from COVID and for me, this is going to be another week for me where I am going to easily probably pass over a lot of things. I'm just feeling very overwhelmed personally. I have things that I need and want to save up for. Um, and yeah, I already made uh, quite a few big purchases through like Sephora and I will be making another big purchase through Ulta. So all of the other brands and items I've just like backed away from that I could pick up. Um, but anyways, I said I was going to get too into it, so let's do it. Dominique Cosmetics is coming out with two lip kits. One is Heat of the Moment. The other one is In Days. They both have lip glosses in them and a lip liner. I think this idea is good for those who always use a lip liner with their lip glosses. For me, I have a whole bucket. Is this a bucket? No, it's not. I have a whole cup of lip liners and honestly... I don't use them every day and even if I do I have like two or three in there that I actually use consistently. So for me these kits are moot um, and I've not tried Dominique Cosmetics yet. They still haven't given me a good enough of a sale um, to really make the plunge so this is going to be a pass. Beauty Bakery is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette and this is their Sugar Cookies eyeshadow palette. Um, there are some blues, some oranges, a red, did I say red? Uh, brown. For me, this is still just too neutral. This brand, as much as I do enjoy some of the products they come out with, their eye products and their eyeshadows are just too neutral for me personally. So this is going to be a pass because I know that I have this in my collection, so no need to buy another iteration of it. KKW Beauty has come out with limited edition kits and sets. She has an eyeshadow palette, crayons, lip liners, and mini gloss set. I think this idea is good for anybody who's interested in trying her brand. There are quite a few people I can only assume that have never tried her brand or are very avid followers and um, people who really love her brand and her formulas and stuff. And so this would be a really good like Christmas gift for somebody. For me, once again, too neutral and I'm not a huge fan of her brand. I tried one of her lipsticks. I thought the formula was okay, but the shade was just not for me at all. Um, and I've just not tried the brand since, to be honest. So this is just gonna be a pass for me. Jamie Genevieve. So I feel like I used to follow her at the very beginning of my time watching YouTube. I no longer follow her. No real reason. I think if I can remember it was honestly just because she was a very neutral loving person and I'm just not that. And I also think the other situation was like I got unfollowed. Like I somehow I unfollowed her without even knowing it and I just never went back around to refollowing her. So anyways, she came out with her own brand and it's called Vivil. Vivive? I don't really know. There's an eyeshadow palette. Um, there are highlighters and matte lipsticks. I think that's it. Oh, and lip definers. So lip liners. Does this look like to you guys... Um, what is her name? Victoria Beckham's line. Like, I don't know. I just get the feel of Victoria Beckham. It doesn't really look like the line, but I just get the feel. Either way, um, I think everything looks cute. 
but there's nothing that I truly, truly need. So I am going to personally pass on it, but I can't wait to hear people review it. I know a lot of people are going to be checking this brand out. And I can only assume it's going to be a good brand because Jamie Genevieve is a YouTuber. So I can only assume that her stuff is going to be good. Kylie Cosmetics has come out with some sets for holidays. She has a lip kit, a gloss kit, an eyeshadow duo, and another lip trio. For me, all of this stuff is too boring, too bland. And oh, there's a cool tone palette. Oh, hmm. There's a cool tone purple palette. I actually like that. I think that's cute. But I have been shopping my stash more lately and I actually created, funny enough, the eyeshadow palette that I used today. I kind of did a Frankenstein palette between two of my e.l.f. palettes and I made this Holy Smokes one a lot more cool toned and this is actually what's on my eyes today. And I bought or I did this because I've been really interested in cool tones. I've been like considering buying cool tones and I'm like sis but I'm sure you have some. So Anyways, this is cute, but I already have it, and I'm not a huge fan of this brand. I have maybe one or two products from her, and I don't think they're bad by any means, but I'm not, like, rushing out to get more from her, if you know what I mean. Hollow Taco. So Hollow Taco has come out with another range, and this is their Frosted Metals collection, and I already bought two shades from this collection. So I bought Mint Honey and cold shoulder i am really really excited really really happy for those two shades i may or may not go back and pick up another shade from this line later on but i did make other order other purchases from other ranges in this order and i don't want to bring in too many nail polishes i have quite a few i do like i said at one point in my life want to go back and continue using the ones that I have prior um, but I am you know picking and choosing some collections that I pick a couple of shades up from so I did pick some stuff up you guys will eventually see this in my description box when I wear them and I can't wait to test them out they looked beautifully on, on all beautifully they look beautiful on all of the swatches that I've seen and I'm just I'm excited Raw Beauty Christy did a collaboration with ColourPop. This actually released, what, two days ago? No, it released yesterday. And it was a trio of gel liners, an eyeshadow palette, two single color Super Shock shadows, and two lip glosses. For me, just seeing the cacophony that happened with her Pure Cosmetics collaboration, I didn't even bother to try and pick this up. I think it's a really nice color scheme. I actually really like it. I love the grungier tones. I love the warmer, mustier neutrals. I really do love pretty much every shade in this palette. I'm not going to hold you up at all. But I just did not want to sit there and fight for her fan, like with her fans and stuff. And also, I'm really trying to narrow down what I pick up. And this isn't something that was cute. But something that I knew I could live without. So I decided to live without it. If any of these things are still around, maybe when I make a ColourPop order, I think at most I might pick up a couple of those gel liners. I really do like having quite a range of gel liners. Um, and so I wouldn't mind picking up a couple more from ColourPop because their liners aren't bad. They're not the best, some of them, but some of them are really, really good. Wayne Goss is coming out with his second palette and this one is a cool toned palette and this has a black, two grays, a silver, a cool toned blue and looks like a cool toned maybe peachy pink situation. I think it's a cute color scheme. It's a it's one too many grays. If he would have popped in a purple in this palette I think I would have been a lot more intrigued um, but for me I think I'm going to pass overall I do still want to try more from his line I've only tried his brushes I would love to try his makeup but nothing has really just pulled me completely oh I have tried his makeup I have a blush palette nothing has tried full completely pulled me in in his eyeshadow palettes put it to you that way so hopefully later on I will find something and pick it up but until then I will continue to enjoy my collection Fenty Beauty has come out with two new shades in her Diamond Bomb formula. One is in Rose Rave. The other one is in Royal Icing. Rose, Rose, wow. Rose Rave is a shimmering pink. 
and Royal Icing is a shimmering champagne shade. I think both of those shades are really nicely added to her range and really just patting out this range. It seems like a lot of people prefer this formula over her other formula and I must agree I actually do prefer it too. What I would say is I still want the chocolate one in this range and eventually I'm going to get my grubby hands on it but I don't need it right now. I really really don't um, and that's kind of how I'm going to leave it. So eventually but not yet. Not yet. Okay so this is the first of like four Disney collaborations that I'm going to talk about in this video so sit back because we're going for a ride. First Disney is collaborating with Catrice Cosmetics and they are collaborating with the Ariel Snow White Aurora. Who is Aurora? What Disney princess is she? Aurora and their equivalent villains? I guess. I who is Aurora? <laughs> Anyways, um and I think it's cute, but it's nothing that I, I can't live without, so I'm going to. And it's as simple as that. Um, also, in the Disney villain versions, they have those marble shades. Honestly, a lot of marble shades to me cheapen the palette, in my opinion. So I'm definitely not going to be picking up any of these. Like, that is just not happening. Um, maybe if they took those marble shades out and they look like they have in the princesses ones they have the foil shades like huda beauty's new nude palette and i already have that palette so i don't need this so this is all going to be a pass for me adh is sneak peeking that they're going to be doing something for black friday congrats um it looks like they're coming out with more sets of just stuff and it looks like the Jackie Aina palette is coming back. So it's going to be in its own vault with an eyeliner, eye primer, and a mascara. So if you have wanted that palette, stay tuned. I'm. If you guys want me to, let me know. I can do some more tutorials. I really enjoy my ABH um, Jackie palette, so I wouldn't be hurt at all to do another video with that palette. Um, but yeah, it looks like she's coming out with a lot of vaults with just the palette a primer and a lip gloss or a mascara or something to that effect. I think that is interesting but I really would have wished that ABH came out with the new palette. I understand 2019 they went ham, they did too much, but then they like completely escapade in 2020 and so hopefully in 2021 they find the balance, they find the medium and they come back swinging. So we will see. OC Beauty Shop has come out with a new palette and the name is Slow... I don't know what that name says. I really hate when I can't read packaging. What does that say? I don't know what the, the lid says. I, I don't really know. Anyways, it's this palette. You guys see it on the screen. I actually like the color scheme. I like the choice for the purples and the pinky purples and the actual real pinks and the blues. I like the color scheme, but there's two pressed glitters. So it's a pass for me. She even has a peach in there. This would have been a palette I would have tried because this is a really nice color scheme. Really, really nice. But... I don't do press glitter, so I am going to pass. Huda Beauty is coming out with another palette for the holidays. Didn't she already come out with like three? Anyways, this one is her Gold Obsessed palette. And what I will say is thank you, Huda, for giving us a different color scheme. I appreciate you. I really do. Um, there are golds and then there are two pinks. <laughs> Of course, she still threw in some pinks. She couldn't live without throwing in pinks in a palette. Um, but this is a pass for me. I'm not a huge gold person. It's just not a color that I really like to put on my face. And yeah, I already have pinks from her. So, oh, but it looks like it's exclusive to Cult Beauty. So do keep that in mind if you are really interested in this palette. And it is a nine pan as well. Revolution has come out with candles. Revolution literally wants to be like the 
Amazon of makeup. They want to have anything and everything that you need. Not even a makeup. Revolution wants to be the Amazon of beauty. Anything and everything that you need, they have. They have I think they ha they have candles, they have makeup. Do they have hair products? I know they have nail polish. I know they have body sprays. Like they literally just want to have everything and own the world. Um I do like to have a candle, at least one always going in my room. Um, the last one that I picked up, I actually picked up two from a black owned brand and I'm still working on one of them. So I don't need any new candles. I will say I like the pricing. The pricing is not too expensive. You can get a room spray or scented candle for $15 and a set of three for $22. So I think that's a really good price. Um, but then again, I am gearing closer to supporting more independently owned brands when it comes to at least my candles and other things in my life. So I'm probably never going to try this range out. But I do know that one person I follow already posted a video about it. So maybe I'll check that video out. I think last week I talked about this Wet n Wild holiday collection and I just wanted to talk about it again because I got better photos. So it looks like the duos are highlighter glitter duos. So if you don't like glitter, I wouldn't check for this. I'm intrigued to know if the glitter is suspended in anything or if it's quite literally just straight up glitter. Who knows? I don't. And then the shadow quads, it doesn't necessarily look like there's glitter in there. I don't know with the shadow of a doubt, but it doesn't look completely glittery. Then you have a lip scrub and a tube. Oh, they're both lip scrubs. So that's an interesting collection. I wouldn't say that that necessarily screams holiday, but go figure. Um, and yeah, I just figured I'd give you guys some more information on that in case you were really, really interested in it, but you didn't want to like go out to a drugstore unless you saw that you were really going to buy something. Hourglass is coming to Ulta. Like most people, I prefer Ulta over Sephora. Ulta was literally the creme de la creme this year for me when it came to my no buy. I was able to pick up so many things and not break my no buy because I had so many Ulta points that I had built up. So me and Ulta are thick as these. I'm going to be making another order from them for this month. Um, very soon actually. I just need to compare because Ulta has given us quite a few coupons lately. So I need to see which coupon I want to use and will give me the best bang for my buck. And then I will make a purchase. But I don't have much hourglass. I don't even think I have any hourglass. Why do I always say something and then I think about it? I have two hourglass blushes. So anyways, I would love to pick up more from hourglass. Hopefully if they extend the range and things from their lines. Um, but either way, I'm just really excited that Ulta is expanding more. And there's another part of Ulta that's expanding later. And I will talk about that very soon. Mac, they've shown another part of their holiday collection and this one is a lip kit and a classic kit set um i i wouldn't be mad to pick up that lip kit because i know i would wear that brown and i feel like my mom would wear the red because she likes red oh matt chili velvet teddy oh uh, Ruby Woo. I'm pretty sure I already gave my mom Ruby Woo the lipstick. Chili. I'm pretty sure my mom already went through her chili tea. Velvet Teddy is the only one that I've never tried. I would be intrigued to try that shade. Maybe later on when I collect enough MAC stuff to um, give it to them, I will do that. But for right now, I'll wait and I won't pick up that set. So Huda Beauty is also doing a advent calendar with 12 items and I don't get why all of these advent calendar companies are literally showing you everything that you're getting. Like why would I want to know? 
I don't understand. So you quite literally can see all 12 items. I will say I feel like I've heard good things about her fragrance line. So I would be intrigued to try and smell that. Um, maybe one day when I go into a Sephora, um, I'll just sit around and smell a bunch of fragrances and add them to my list to pick up one day. But this is not something I need. I don't need an advent calendar with a whole bunch of crap. And it's interesting that she has her Mercury Retrograde palette in this. I always thought that that palette did good, but I guess not. Um, and the whole kit and caboodle sells for $175. Good Lord. KKW is coming out with a travel size trio for purse sprays. I guess those are sprays that go in your purse. Okay, so the three shade, the three scents are Crystal Gardenia, Body One, and Emerald Diamond. I can't say that any of these really scream out to me when I'm looking at the notes and everything. There are a couple of um, scents here and there, or scent names. Yeah, that here and there, in there, that like, oh, I'm interested, you know, sandalwood, bergamot, um, there's mandarin, like, those are some things that I'm interested in, but I don't know. Maybe if it comes to Ulta, but I, I don't feel like trying from, I don't feel like buying from her shop. I really don't. Okay, Ulta, again, is going to be coming into Target stores. And my, like, if I had a crystal ball, I would say that's happening because Target's been trying to beef up their beauty section for a minute now and they tried to do like a bigger beauty section and I think what happened is that they realized they just ain't cut out for it. They don't know what people want in the beauty section and they're not stocking the correct stuff in the correct areas. I find that in my area I have a hard time going in the store and actually finding something that works for my complexion and my area is quite diverse. I live in a metropolitan area so there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to find something in my shade if it's available on the range on the racks because in the grand scheme of things like I I'm like I'm like that first dark shade like I'm generally never the last shade unless people have trash color or er, shade ranges so anyways let me get off my tangent either way I think this is a great move for Ulta I really can't wait to continue to see them thrive and I'm going to be seeing it's going to be interesting to see how it happens in Target I would love to know if you can actually get and use your Ulta rewards at the Ulta stores in Target and how that's going to work if this is going to be like a Sephora at JCPenney's like that's kind of what I'm feeling the vibes so I'm going to be stupid excited I really hope that there's going to be Ulta at Sephora or at <laughs> an Ulta at Target in the Target near me and if I move I hope it I move to a Target that has an Ulta in the store because ciao I'm living I'm living Persona Cosmetics has launched some new super blush, a new super blush shade in terracotta and two ultra highlighting, ultra highlighting, ultra hydrating and creamy lip lining shades. One in rosewood, rosewood and the other one in 20910. I think this is cute. I just don't think this brand is marketing for somebody of my complexion. There are certain brands, they just don't do that. And I'm not bent out of shape because of it. It is what it is. Y'all don't want my money, I'm not gonna give it to you. So for me, this just does not look chocolate friendly. So I'm going to pass. Muse Beauty is sneak peeking that they're coming out with maybe a palette, maybe some singles, who knows. It looks to be nine shades though. They look to be interesting shades, nothing super revolutionary when it comes to the color scheme, but it looks intriguing. So we will see um, once we get some more information. BK Beauty has come out with her first eyeshadow palette. So that's Lisa J is the owner of BK Beauty and she's come out with her first eyeshadow palette. And although I would love to support her because I really enjoy the brushes, I have, I think all of the brushes from the set that I got for um, 
Brick Clark are dirty. They're all in this little dirty cup that I use out of until I'm stopped being lazy and I clean my brushes. Um, but this color scheme is just not really calling to me. I'm sure she'll come out with something that'll be more up my alley. But until then, I will sit back and watch people gush and goo and moo over her um, formula. Okay, this I don't... I don't understand. Pharrell. Okay, I love Pharrell. I love his beats. I love his music. I love, I love Pharrell. Okay. It, he was one of my favorites when I was growing up. But why is he coming out with a skincare range? I don't understand. Like what about Pharrell screams skincare? What skincare knowledge does he have? Where is he trying to market this to? The name of the brand is Human Race. So I assume he's trying to say I'm being exclusive to everybody and anybody. But I really just don't understand. I don't understand. It's the the in, info in his bio says a new universal wait wow it says a new universe dedicated to the everyday pursuit of well-being what it looks like he has a rice powder an enzyme exfoliator and a hydro hydro oh it says humidifying <laughs> that's what you get for trying to zoom in and a humidifying cream once again, what background knowledge does Pharrell have to drop a skincare brand? And for me, when it comes to Pharrell, right, he looks snatched, okay? It doesn't look like he's a day over 20, maybe 30. Let me give him 30s. But, like, what business does he have doing a skincare range? And who is he really marketing this to? I could see, okay, it, if he has some background that I don't know of, because I don't know the man's life, not, I don't. So maybe let's say he has background in biology, skincare, all of this jazz, or he's really into skincare care himself. Fine. But then it would only make sense to me if he was going to market this skincare range to men. Like it just doesn't make sense for him to just come out with this range in general for me. And then like, who, are, who is this for? So I definitely am not picking that up. I no, no, no. Viseart has come out with another four pan palette, and this one seems to be limited edition for holiday, and it is Lilas. Is that the name of the palette? I think it is Lilas, which means lilac in French, apparently. Oh, okay, I got another word of French under my belt. Anyway, so it's two shimmers, two mattes. This looks really cool toned, um, which is not a bad thing. But once again, I have my Holy Smokes palette from e.l.f. I'm good. Another Disney collaboration, and this one is with Spectrum Brushes. Now, I'm not going to hold you up. This is a really cute collection. <laughs> and if I wasn't a stronger person... I'd probably pick up one or two of these because this is a collaboration with Fantasia and they have brushes that look like the brushes that walked animated it. I, I like it. I like it. I like it. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. And it looks like they're also doing another collaboration with Frida Kahlo. Okay. That's a lot of collaboration spectrum. Um, I mean, I'm probably never going to pick up anything from this either of these collections. But I really like the Fantasia one. And that brush, the brush that has the legs, like, come on. Come on. I used to kill Fantasia. Bro, our VHS... Comment down below if you still know what a VHS play, a player is or a VHS in general. My VHS of Fantasia, it didn't work anymore. We played it too much because we loved it. And like, 
it was the music for me because I grew up in a very musical household um, and so I've always played music or been involved in music in somehow some way so that oh that was one that was one of the VHS's that like no longer plays at all Kylie Cosmetics is coming out with a round two holiday and she's doing it with Balmain okay and apparently it's all about greens I don't know I've still never looked into the brand I still remember when one of my favorite youtubers makeup struggles she was talking about some release that Balmain did and she was like Balmain <laughs> it was anyways um yeah so anyways um i'll be interested to see what comes out i'll probably not pick it up but maybe that's by that time i'll actually look up what that brand is because i think somebody said something about them being a high-end clothing brand or something i don't do more than 20 dollars on clothes guys so i don't really know and then the last thing i want to talk about with you guys is sydney grace is going to be doing a collaboration with tim talia in spring of 2021 and it looks like it's going to be a 12 pan palette and it's called the quintessence palette as an ode to the sky and space the oh and there's another one there's the horizon palette which is featuring grungy earthy neutrals oh there's a third one there's a radiant reflection palette that'll be a colorful jewel toned rainbow okay tim tell you i mean i'm excited i'm very excited to see what comes out of it i already have one palette where is she i already have one palette from sydney grace i have done what have i done like four videos on this palette now I love the formula. I love the color scheme. So, Tim Talia, I'm waiting for you, girl. Just wait. Just wait. Um, but I don't even think there's anything that I talked about today that I actually am going to even try to pick up. There's really nothing. There were a couple of things last week, which I haven't picked up anything from my series last week. Um, only thing I picked up makeup wise this month, other than the VIB sale, is I picked up two palettes from Juvia's Place um, because they had a really good sale and I wanted to get my purchase for the holidays out of the way. I'm still going back and forth if I want the Caladios um, Multi Chrome Highlighter. I'm sure by the time I make up my mind that thing is going to be sold out, which is fine. Um, it's fine. So we'll see. But right now I'm doing good. I'm shopping my stash. I am making Frankenstein palettes that work for, for me for what I want at the current moment. I really like this eyeshadow look. I think it's cute. Um, I'm feeling froggy. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, y'all, black lives do matter. Please remember to wear a mask and stay safe. Please subscribe and like this video if you like my content. If you like this video, I would really appreciate it. Really like it. I am planning quite a few things for you guys. I cannot wait. I hope that you guys are going to be excited and go along with me. I just need to get out of this self quarantine so that I can really start to implement things in the background. And December is going to be exciting for y'all, exciting for me, because I'm growing a year older, hopefully a year smarter, hopefully closer to adulthood. Who knows? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said a million times, do remember that your mental health is very important. Talk to a friend if you need to. Talk to somebody if you need to. And I will see you guys in my next video, which is probably going to be tomorrow because I have a lot of videos already recorded and ready to go.